It's 32 in Chicago for giving us uh, that interview. I should also mention right now, just moments ago, President Trump did tweet out, I want to read this to you because it just came uh, down the pipes here. Heartwarming to see all of the tremendous support out there, especially the organic rallies that are springing up all over the country, including a big one on Saturday in D.C. I may even try to stop by and say hello. This election was rigged from Dominion all the way up and down there. Dominion is a uh, election counting software there that President Trump says was rigged there. Uh, at this moment, there hasn't been any uh, clear evidence of that right there, but we wanted to bring you that tweet that just happened moments ago for President Trump right there. So we're keeping an eye on everything that is happening across the board, including in uh, at the White House, I should mention. I'm just going to keep on repeating this, everybody, because we are going to hear from President Trump at 4 p.m. Eastern at the Rose Garden, uh, bringing that to you right here on News Now from Fox as it happens. So uh, be on the lookout for that. All right, I do have another story that a lot of people uh, really uh, telling me about this one, and uh, I had to look it up, and yep, that was on Twitter. So this is a big event uh, from that is being reported by Fox News' Jackie Heinrich, talking about the passable path forward for President Trump. And I'm going to show you some of Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, because it has to do about her as well. So this is being reported there from Jackie Heinrich from Fox News. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is armed with a nuclear option if President Trump attempts to steal the election through an electoral college play. She says there's no light at the end of the tunnel for President Trump in the House if he thinks he can convince GOP legislatures to deny Biden electors. Pelosi will consider denying Republicans on the same ballot from being seated. She holds the ace card, a Dem source tells Jackie Heinrich. Because state governments is form formally certify election results and send electors to the Electoral College meeting, President Trump and his allies have engaged in several lawsuits aimed at blocking secretaries of state in contested swing states from certifying the results. Republican-controlled legislatures in this scenario could appoint pro-Trump electors to the Electoral College, potentially upending President-elect Biden's projected win. Donald Trump Jr. has promoted this idea. In this case, Nancy Pelosi has the final play, according to a Democratic source speaking on background. If Republicans mess with electors, one option uh, that she is considering is simply not seating Republican members of Congress at the meeting of the Electoral College. The House retains the right to decide who is seated, and as recently as 2018, Pelosi refused to seat Republican Mark Harris, who led a, uh, whose lead was contested after North Carolina officials discovered huge numbers of absentee ballots were never returned. The North Carolina State Board of Elections ordered a new contest, and Harris withdrew, citing medical reasons. An operative on Harris's campaign was later revealed to have financed the election fraud operation. Biden attorneys dispute the le legality of such an electoral college play if it comes to that, saying that's not consistent with the Constitution and that will never happen. Bob Bauer said that's another bit of call it what you will, puffery propaganda that's being put on uh, by the Trump side. Again, it's very easy to establish that this isn't true and won't happen there. But that is just something to see right there. So we had to uh, bring that to you once again. That was Twitter from Twitter update there from Jackie Heinrich, Fox News correspondent, giving us that update. A lot of people wanted to know about that. They said, Mike, will you say it? And we did bring that to you right here. I'm News Now from Fox, everybody, as we continue to roll on, bringing you always the very latest right here. Thank you so much again for joining us on this really busy Friday. And it's going to get busier in a couple of hours, no doubt about that, because we will have President Trump a little bit later. Uh, we will show you his full address at the Rose Garden, talking about the COVID-19 vaccine. We'll bring that to you in its entirety right here on News Now from Fox. And we're also waiting for a major update in Illinois. The governor, J.B. Pritzker, is once again going to be giving an update. And that's not a good day uh, for Illinois once again when it's talking about COVID-19. They saw another record. Uh, the records that they just don't want to have. There are 15,000 new cases there in the land of Lincoln, and uh, we will be getting an update there. It looks like they're getting very close to a state lockdown there once again. So we'll be keeping an eye on that for you and everything that is happening. Live events pop up 
you know, I got you right here on News Now from Fox Everybody Live. Look right now, Cobb County, Georgia, in the Peach State, doing a hand recount there. How will it all shake out at the end? We will wait and see there. It looks like November 20th is their deadline, so we'll uh, definitely be keeping an eye on all of that and much, much more right here on News Now from Fox. Some of you are going to take a quick break.